Hello and welcome to Get Up Official. Today I'm going to show you how to replace place a top mount and a Vauxhall Adam. First of all, what we're going to do is remove the wheel. I've already removed the wheel, as you can see from this video, that is the wheel right there. The bolts that are holding the wheels are 17 mil. So you'd use a 17 mil socket to remove those bolts. It's also got a locking wheel nut. And then you'd have to release the track rod, as you can see. And this is a 17 mil socket as well to remove that one. If it gets a little bit stuck, sometimes you tap it with a hammer there and it will release. Then we need to release the center bolt that holds the drive shaft in place right there. That is a 36 mil socket. And then we're going to remove these 18 mil bolt and nut. But before we do that, we're going to also remove the anti roll bar link, as you can see, just that one. And then we're going to remove the top mount bolt just up there, as you can see, it's a 21 mil. And now we're going to use a 16 millimeter ratchet spanner, as you can see, and the anti roll bar nut and also a seven mil socket, as you can see. And we're basically gonna use both of them to remove it. The anti roll bar link, as you can see, from the shop itself. And I've also removed both the bolts. As you can see, they're movable. Now what we're gonna do is remove the top mount bolt at the top, and then we'll take these two bolts out, because if we remove these two bolts and then remove the top mount the whole suspension will drop so what we're going to do first is remove the top mount whilst holding the shock absorber we'll remove these two bolts the scuttle panel has already been removed you have to remove the scuttle panel including as you can see both the wiper arms to get access to the bolt for the top mount as you can see situated just there and it's actually an 18 mil socket it's not actually a 21 it's an 18 mil to remove that nut. Now we've removed the nut, as you can see, including the washer that holds the top mount together in this location. Now we're ready to move on to removing, as you can see, those two bolts and pulling the shock out. And then it's gonna be the reverse to refit and put it back together. Suspension's out and that's the new top mount that we're gonna be fitting to it but now we need to get the spring compressor to compress the spring to release the tension and remove the 18 mil nut down there as you can see okay now that we've connected the spring compressor as you can see from this video we're going to basically tighten it so that it actually squashes the spring to release the tension on the top mount there and then we'll be able to remove that nut and fit the new one on it mount has been fitted and tightened so I've released the spring compressor as you can see it's a brand new one fitted to it now I'm going to fit it to the vehicle see the finished article as you can see the anti-roll bar linkages bolt is all tightened including the outer track rod bolt down there as you can see including your drive shaft center hub nut that's a 36 mil nut that one has to be torqued to 70 newton meters and then you have to tighten it 90 degrees and as you can see the abs wires have been connected back together including the brake caliper lines as well and including the top mount situated just up there thank you and thank you for watching keep automotive blog please like and subscribe